Hi there, you are going to join me at the Big Goodwill today. Jimmy was with me, but he was at Target at the moment. He was running errands for us. And on the end cap of the clear glass section, they had these table lamps. They were obviously old. You could tell by the cord always, but the you just, they just kind of gave out a vintage look to them. And then on the end cap of the other section, there was this trinket dish. Maybe it was a ring dish. I'm not quite sure. It wasn't marked. Kind of looked like coral. But the theme of the day is elephants. And these were the first three elephants that I found. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted a picture of all the elephants that I find today. But wait, there's more. <laughs> they were everywhere and it was fun finding them and putting them in my cart because even though they aren't marked, they obviously have some age to them. This one was marked Biloxi, Mississippi, but when I washed it, that came right off. So now it is a fabulous blue and gold elephant, no longer a souvenir piece. This was a Royal Worcester egg coddler. And I usually do, I sold these in the past and I usually do pick them up, but there was only a single one and I don't have any kind of holding on to at home. So I left that there. I think this was trying to be Dresden, but it had failed. It wasn't the real thing. It wasn't marked. And then Jenny and I were here today and funny enough, I found the other one of these, I think they were candle holders. I had only saw the one on this trip, but I saw two of them today. On the bottom shelf were some Barbies. I don't really know too much about Barbies, but I do look, know enough to look for older ones. Didn't see any, so I went back to the shelves. This is still there. It has a antique mall uh, sticker on the bottom. It obviously went with another piece. Probably she's showing off for her man, but that is still there. Nobody wants it, even though it does have some age. The size and shape of this tile grabbed my attention and I looked on the back to see if there was any markings. Isn't that pretty on the front there? Uh, but I wasn't really feeling it, I think because of the weight. And so I left that and then I saw this and immediately made my way back down the aisle. This is Dragon Wear. It has Moriyagi detailing. That's a slip technique that they use to make that two dimensional, uh, usually dragons. On dragonware and I've picked up teacups and saucers but I haven't had a vase yet and then I saw this when we were on our trip to Oklahoma and Texas this past spring and I thought it was really really cute then and I thought hey this is just like the one I saw it is has a little sticker on the bottom made in Korea so I would guess maybe the 70s 80s this is from I think it would make a really cute cake topper wouldn't that be sweet on a birthday cake and her flowers are still in great shape, so I decided to take that. I moved this little bun warmer out of the way to reach this. And this obviously wasn't, you know, handcrafted by a craftsman one piece at a time. This is probably mass produced, but it is in great shape. And I liked how the pelican is separate from the base there. So you can move them from a different pillar if you want to or have something else on there. I thought it would be really cute if you put a plant, maybe like an elephant planter with succulents. It would look adorable with a pelican <laughs> watching over your elephant. Here's Our Lady of Guadalupe. When I turned it over, it had a barcode, so I know it was more contemporary. And then this owl, look at this. It was really heavy, and I was willing to make a exception, but it was $12.99, and so that combined with the weight and the size, I left that for somebody else. That is probably some bohemian, bohemian glass. Left that on the shelf. And then I thought this was old, but it's not. It was, um, I think, marketed through Target. If I read the label real quickly, correctly. Giving you a look at the shelves here. This is still there also. And the reason why I believe it's still there, even though it does work, it does have a crack in it along the dress there. I'm going to point it out to you. Right along there was a hairline crack. And I think that's why it's still there, even though it's an obvious older vintage piece. And then I wanted to see who made this bowl. And we moved on. Here were a set of Paula Deen mixing bowls. Don't really see Paula Deen. We mostly see Rachel Ray in our stores here. I don't think this had a lot of age to it. I was turn, uh, taking the bottom 
the sticker off the bottom to see what it looked like. I'm not quite sure why. Well, I think because I know the cloisonne with the blue bottoms that say China on them are very old. Maybe that's what I was looking for. Just checking out the shelves. This is on the very, very bottom because you never know what you'll find. Here are some bookends. And the brown section, this side mostly has artwork on it. And then here's the red section. Zoning in on these, don't these look like the 1980s? I was a little surprised they had just a generic um, made in China brand, not somebody who made it made it, like a name brand. I've sold these before, and the reason why I didn't pick this one up is because the knot in the wood really made it look like a burnt mark to me. Here is the brand, Toothpicks and Broomsticks. That's really adorable. And it was only $2.99. Like I've said, I've sold two of these before that were welcome to our home sign, but I just couldn't. That really, I think, took away from the whole piece. They're very pretty. I've sold one with lighthouses, and I forget what the other one looked like. And then this globe, I think it said love. Do you think it says love? It looks like it says love. <laughs> You'd have to definitely have that down lower so you could see. The love. Hey, you say hi. <laughs> it's okay. Well, you should have said hi. I don't care. Um, <gasps> Look at all. What's yeah, your name? Stephanie. Stephanie, who are you on Instagram? Um, simply Stephanie the shop. Oh, that's nice. So yeah. you're like sh shopping live, mm -hmm. and then telling them what they pay. Mm -hmm. Girl. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I'll it's, put your name in my video. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Go okay. for it. That'd be awesome. Thank you. You're um, welcome. Simply yeah, Stephanie, the shop. Underscore the shop. Okay. It's a like I'll a pink you. logo. Yeah. I had never seen that before. I'd heard of people selling live on Instagram, but she was shopping selling live on Instagram. I She had the whole process down pat. I am not coordinated enough to do that. And uh, I heard her talking on the phone and it looked like she was doing Instagram. So I, and I normally don't do this, but I was like, are you selling on Instagram? And she said, yeah. And I said, oh, I'm, and I showed her my phone. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm making a YouTube video. And she goes, yeah, I know who you are. You're Dagny. <laughs> so that was funny. Time for a cart update. She actually saw the elephants first and she took some for her customers. And then she was very generous and was like, no, go ahead, go crazy. Take the rest of the elephants. I thought all of these wall plaques were old. And if some of them didn't have the barcode sticker on some of them, I think this one does, is made in China. I would have thought these were old. They would have tricked me. And we, like I said, we were there here uh, today and they're still there. So I think other people had the same idea. They're really neat though. Look at this fish. Now, if you know where this fish is, if this fish is from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to be really upset. Even if it's from Dollar General, I think it's really pretty. And I paid up a little bit for it. It's ceramic, but I thought that design was really pretty. And look, I found more elephants. <laughs> they were everywhere in the store. I couldn't resist. And you know what? Out of all of them, only one has a lot of water staining and two of them have hairline cracks. So I am going to sell them separately um, and buy the piece and they'll be best offers. But the ones that have the hairline crack, either I'm going to save them for myself. I know. Do you see it? Look, and there was another one. Wait, I had to go back because I wanted to know how much it cost. Okay. They, they sell everything at Goodwill. But anyway, back to the elephants. The two that have the hairline cracks will be a little bit cheaper. This was pretty, but it was chipped, so it had to go back on the shelf. Here we all we're still against the side wall here in Goodwill. And then look at the very tippy top. It's an owl lamp. Look at that. It is missing the light bulb insert thing. But you'll see at the end of the video, you can put a votive and it looks even better. And especially with Halloween coming up, it's going to look really, really cute. I usually do pick up vintage needlepoint kits. This was a plastic canvas one. Just wasn't feeling it. So I left that there probably because my cart was full of elephants. <laughs> I went back to the owls. See if there was anything vintage or really super duper cute. That one there was, I had a lot of chipping to it, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Oh, look, I found another one. 
<laughs> oh, and then Stephanie told me uh, after I left, she found some more. That's pretty funny. There's the cat from when we were here last time and the Goodwill was so catty. Most of the cats were gone, but that chain cat was still here. It was a good day at this Goodwill. We got there early. Oh, and this is sad because I saw this elephant here today and it has a chip on the side of the trunk now. Then um, this here, this chimney sweep is a gobel, but it doesn't sell for very much. I was surprised because it's a cute little figurine. This teapot down there has a big chip on the spout. I was looking to see if it was Germany or Czechoslovakia. And then this little covered dish was Holly Hobby. I wonder if these were one of the pieces that um, I've been told in the past that your moms used to collect them um, with at the grocery store. You would get credit and then they would have dishware that you could get from buying at a grocery store. I wonder if that Holly Hobby was one of those pieces. And then here, these were really pretty, but I flip it over and I don't even show you. It might have been Italy. I'm not sure. Sorry, I did a bad job of showing you the back of that. I thought this was weird because they had scents for like the names, like hot chocolate and like, look, cranberry, cinnamon, cookies. Are these scented? And then your hair smells? I don't know. I don't know if I would like that. I have short hair, so I don't have to worry about it. But I don't even think Jenny would like that, having smelly things in her hair. This was an interesting thing. Thing. They taped a whole bunch of saucers together and then the two little demi toss cups. This was cute and I almost thought about it, but it's missing one of the cups. I think um, a fourth of a cup or a third cup, some two thirds of a cup, something. There should be four and there are only three. Or maybe there were only supposed to be three. I thought this was Port Marion. That's why I flipped that over. And then look at, <laughs> look at these. I don't know. And then there's one for the ladies. I was like, are these marked? No. That was different. Then I was poking around in the box because you never know what you'll find. I'm going back over the area that I was just at because you never know. As you saw in my last video when I was in Ohio at Valley Thrift, I went back through and found some terrific things towards the end of the video. Little snack trays. Blue lusterware, blue and peach lusterware, obviously made in Japan. There was the other snack tray. They had a little bit of that moriage. I mispronounced it earlier, detailing on it. This, I know, it's really pretty and it's a perfume bottle. It's missing its stopper. This might be Egyptian glass. Like I've sold these before, it was, they were all made in Egypt, but that thing was so thin and so long, I did not want to risk it being snapped in the mail. So I left that for somebody else, even though it was super duper pretty. Maybe if it had its stopper, I would have talked myself into it, but it didn't. So here were some more of those wall plaques. They're fruit, obviously. But see how they have a definite vintage look to them? But when I was saying old, I was thinking like 50s, 60s, maybe even 40s. And these might be 70s, 80s, 90s. Christmas is kind of mixed in with it. Here I'm just looking at the shelves so you can look along with me. It's a giant Smurf from one of the Smurf movies. It felt weird. It wasn't very soft. And then my mom is always like, um, Hints from Heloise. And so here was the original big book of Hints from Heloise. So I had fun flipping through it, seeing what hints she could give you. <laughs> It's fun, the older books. And while I was looking through that, Jimmy came back <laughs> and I said, look at all my elephants. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was his reaction. <laughs> so as long as you can sell them. <laughs> he was positive. He didn't say anything bad. <laughs> and then I really like selling these. I've sold these in the past and I really liked how, here he is. <laughs> um, he was holding the box. Um, this came with the original box, so it's going to really make it easy to ship. I've sold these in the past. The bottom tray, you'll see, has a little bit of some kind of schmutz on it, but it cleaned up nicely. So that, that was just 
previous party wear stuff. And then I found this huge bag of uh, doll, doll furniture. And when I was at Burning Bridge with George and Jocelyn just the other day, there was, I saw oh, quite a bit of this doll furniture in um, booths. It's made in the USA. You see, look, look, there's another elephant. And you'll see at the end of the video, um, quite a bit of furniture in that little bag. So there's two more elephants to put in the cart. And this is the very last thing that I found. Pyrex. It's a Cinderella bowl. Here is everything that I picked up on this recent trip to Goodwill, the big Goodwill in Lancaster. I hope you can join Jocelyn and me at a meet and greet that is being sponsored by Burning Bridge Antiques this Friday, September 30th, 2022 in Columbia, Pennsylvania. More information is in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see ya.